So you might be asking yourself, what do Victoria's Secret and mortgages have in common? Let me take a moment to explain. So not that long ago, a conservative congressman from Texas was to meet his wife and mother-in-law at his office. And when he arrived at his office, he saw the Victoria's Secret catalog. Could not understand why he had it, hadn't ordered it, didn't have anything, didn't buy anything at Victoria's Secret, and it made no sense to him that it was delivered to his office. Obviously not wanting his wife to think that he was looking at a Victoria's Secret catalog, he picked up the phone and, and started to research why did he get it. What he found was that he had applied for credit online. And he found out that when he applied for credit online, all the repositories that run his credit, Experian, TransUnion, and, uh, and uh, Equifax, had sold his information to a vast array of people, one of which was Victoria's Secret. And Victoria's Secret decided to send a catalog to his office. He found this reprehensible. So he had a law passed, and it is optoutprescreen.com, where you can go on and you can literally opt to not have your information sold by the agencies to anyone. I always thought it was rather interesting. You should have called it Victoria's Secret because one, that's where it started, and two, it seems like a secret that nobody knows about. I think everybody should opt out. I think that they should go online and opt out for their five years. It's a relatively simple process to stop their personal information to being sold to others.